Well, deputies and inmates are being tested for tuberculosis tonight after a case is reported at the Buncombe County Detention Center. It's been confirmed that one inmate has that lung infection, but tonight there are concerns that many more may have been exposed. 13th Ashley Searles joins us. Ashley, people there are being tested. That's right, and as you said, their staff and inmates here are being tested, but at this point it's still unclear just how many in this facility may have been exposed. That is scary. He's been in there for two months. Today, concerns over family members and a cousin behind the walls. Although they have um, the air conditioner on, it's still small, you know, people are close together, so it's kind of scary even to go visit. One active case of tuberculosis, a potentially deadly lung infection that spreads through the air, has been confirmed at the Buncombe County Detention Center. The single inmate's been put in isolation, and now anyone he came into close contact with is being tested. TB is prolonged close exposure to someone who is actively coughing, uh, singing, talking. So the germ has to leave the lungs, and that person has to breathe it in that space. Someone infected with it brought it inside, and now it's a matter of halting any spread and figuring out who was exposed. If you're talking about a short, small room with low ceilings for a prolonged period of time, we're saying like four hours or more in a small, confined space, then that's a content considered an exposure. The sheriff's department has not released any details about the man who has now been isolated with the infection, and it's unclear whether he remains at the detention facility or whether he's been taken to the hospital. Someone can have TB and be anywhere, so it doesn't normally show up right away. You have symptoms for a prolonged period of time, and then they just escalate. They get worse. Now, that local health official we talked to today said that it's actually not uncommon for a TB case to pop up inside a jail. She said the last one that she remembered inside the Buncombe County facility was about 10 years ago. Reporting live tonight in Asheville, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.